friends welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to take a look at how to create visualization depending on the data that you have inside your Elasticsearch instance so we are going to be using the data that we got from uh, from our previous video uh, that covered how to insert MySQL data into uh, your Elasticsearch instance and these are the fields that uh, were inserted into the Elasticsearch so go to job name and click on add and job status click on add and click uh, also add execution time so over here there are different fields uh, different values for the job status field as well as uh, for job name so if we go ahead and create a visualization based on that uh, what we can do is go to visualization and over here what we need is we need to select and just let me discard this click on create new visualization and in the search bar just type pie chart and we are going to create a pie chart and we are going to be choosing a data source of from our job data index and click on that and over here you will get a basic uh, donut shape chart but we need a pie chart so what we need is we need to go to options and just uh, turn this toggle off and also show labels and turn that on and go back to data and over here click on bucket and over here we are going to choose ply, uh, split slices and click on that and over here we are going to aggregate our data depending on a specific term uh, in the data field so of the data field that we are going to use is job status because there are different status of different jobs like there is a complete status and that then there is a failure so we are going to divide this into that uh, data field so now after that just click on update and you will see that the chart was automatically generated based on our data uh, input so as you can see over here we also got the labels from the in those fields so 25 percent jobs were failed and 74.81 percent jobs were completed without any failure so to save this uh, visualization what we can do is uh, we can also add a custom label so just uh, type job job status and click on update and what we need is we now need to save this visualization so just click on update and go ahead and save and just give it a title so we are going to give the title of job status and save that and if we go back to visualizations you can see that uh, now we have a visualization named job status now we are going to create another visualization and this visualization is going to be a tag cloud and just click on that and we are going to choose the same data source and over here we are going to click on bucket tags and over here we are going to select terms and from the field what we need is we need execution time so let's click on update and see if uh, data was collected from our index so as you can see over here our data was loaded successfully and we are going to change the font size a little bit more so that it is So just save and this is going to be execution time 
and save that so uh, the result over here is not uh, that much because we don't have uh, a lot of data within our Kibana instance uh, so it is taking what it can from that data and showing in that into our visualization and now what we uh, the we are going to create another visualization markup markdown and just select that and over here we are just going to give it a title to job uh, data dashboard and just update that and over here we are going to change the size to 19 and just 24 and just save that and this will be dashboard size 12 and save the visualization and now uh, once you have completed all your visualization what we need is we, we need to create a dashboard where we can view all those uh, fields over here so if we go to dashboards what we need is we need to create a new dashboard so click on that and over here we are going to create a new and we are going to uh, add an existing uh, visualization that we had created already so just click on job status execution time and dashboard title now we need to arrange them accordingly so that we can uh, go ahead and make it look according to what we want so just do it like that and just to arrange it and then save this dashboard and this will be job status and just save the dashboard now if we go back to our dashboard there will be a new dashboard with job status and you click on that and all your visualizations that are uh, according to all the visualization that are that you have created within the visualization section are available on a single dashboard so this is how you can create visualization and dashboards within kibana and use them to visualize log data according to your needs so that's it for this video if you have any questions do comment down below and do subscribe to our channel and hit that like button it really helps our videos to reach more users and thanks for watching